Turn Signal with Kim Troby. Marsha Walden did the right thing. Instead of pushing her religious beliefs on a homosexual client, she referred her to a colleague for help. As a result, she was questioned by her superiors, told to lie about her religious beliefs, and eventually fired. As a counselor, she's not only allowed to uh, refer a case that she can't handle, but she's required ethically. Bruce House Connect with Focus on the Family Action says Christians increasingly find themselves in a tough spot. Well, first of all, the employer suggested that in the future this counselor may want to lie about her religious uh, convictions and avoid offending uh, homosexual clients. It is a catch-22 for Christians because either they are forced to, uh, in this case, counsel someone against their religious beliefs or give up their religious beliefs, and uh, either way, they're punished for it. Uh, they get fired or they have to deny their own religious beliefs. That is an unacceptable solution uh, in this day and age in a country where we have the First Amendment. Walden and others who've chosen the mental health field as a career may find themselves in even deeper trouble soon. The American Psychiatric Association is considering guidelines that would force Christians to deny their faith when it comes to working with homosexual clients.